foot behind my butt. So today we're working on the 2004 Honda Pilot. Um, it's been making a clunky noise for the longest time. I couldn't figure out what it was. I replaced the control arms, sway bar, sway bar links, sway bar bushings. Took it into the dealership. They told me the struts were about to fall off, so I had them do the struts. Noise is still there. They did more diagnostics, including with listening devices, and figured out that is... As I suspected, these subframe bushings. So these subframe bushings are in the subframe. Uh, mine's got almost 300,000 miles on it, so it's time to replace them. Um, you also need these little rubber pieces that go on top. They're called insulators and new subframe bolts as well. Um, the Honda dealer I was at said they don't do this. Um, it's typically about six hours by the book to remove the subframe, replace, put them back. Uh, I did some brainstorming and figured out I could do it much quicker using a slide hammer or similar things. If you can do the slide hammer route, you've got to jack the car way sky high. I can't do that, so I'll be basically using parts of the slide hammer to make it work, hopefully. Because um, I had the slide hammer, bought the nuts, and uh, had them TIG welded, and I was going to use this, but... I don't have any way to make the pilot light way higher, don't have a lift, so um, I'll be just using threaded rod, nuts, and this part to hopefully replace the subframe bushings in under two, three hours. So uh, let's get into it. So looking under the 04 pilots, there, ha there are four subframe bushings. There's one here, there's one connected to this bracket. There is one connected to that bracket, and there's one opposite it. So I'll be removing this bolt here, using the jack to support the subframe. I'll send a threaded rod up there with a nut, tighten the nut down, and then down here I'll be either using a big cup to pull the, the uh, subframe uh, bushing, or I'll be using parts of that slide hammer, mainly the slide, and hitting it against the threaded rod to hopefully pull out this subframe bushing. Now mine was torqued really, really tight at the dealership, so I gotta loosen it and then we can get started. Hmm. 
Okay, so I haven't figured out. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to do one side, but I got it this time. Take your slide hammer attachment, put it through your threaded rod. You're gonna run it up into your subframe here. Tighten it down. Okay, and then. Okay, it took three taps. Okay, it's out. You're gonna grab your subframe bolts from the car. You're gonna grab your bushing, orient this, this uh, arrow towards the front where there's a hole, just like so. Okay, and then before you do that, you wanna lube it up. Lube it up, I'm using the WD-40 silicone. Done. Orient arrow towards front hole. And then you basically tighten. You'll hear creaks and snapping, that's normal. So this one on this side almost perfectly seated, it is sticking out just a little bit so I'm going to use the two jaw puller to push it in. The opposite side didn't want to go in this far so I had to use the two jaw puller to uh, push it in and I'll show you how that is. So if you have a regular two jaw puller you can disregard this. I'm using my half inch threaded rod, I'm using two nuts that I locked down here. I have one nut. That's gonna hold my my uh, slide hammer uh, two jaw uh, thing, and then I'm going to use the the lock nut method for this. So all you do is you butt up two nuts to each other, and then you lock them down. So you just tighten both of them. Until they're snug. Those ain't going anywhere. And then you're basically using these nuts to push this bushing fully in place. You might hear some snapping. Nope, that bushing is fully seated. Yep, fully seated. Perfect. And then you can put in your, your bolts on both front sides and then work onto the back. Very important to note before you tighten everything down, don't forget to replace these upper insulators as well as with new bolts. Anti-seize these so they don't get stuck and don't forget these or else you'll hear noises as you drive. This goes on top between the subframe and the actual bushing.
and dig two times my butt. So on this side, as we can see, it's, the bolt is tight, but the, the uh, bushing still has about, I don't know, uh, half an inch to go. So that's why we're gonna use our puller. So it's a little bit sketchy, but it works so far. For reasons unknown to me, this last bushing decided it wanted to fight instead of come out. So I have one nut up there going through the bolt. I have a recalled Harbor Freight jack stand but that I took the center part out. I'm using two locking, uh, two locking nuts here and we're just pulling the bushing out. Mm -hmm. 
there we have it. That's how you push, pull a bushing out if it's stuck. And then uh, you just gotta put this one in and uh, it's all good to go.